What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here in New Hampshire. The views are incredible at the Owl's Nest. We shot five under on the front nine. We're trying to shoot 59. It's a two ball scramble, me and Matt. This is part two in the back nine. So we gotta take it low. If we wanna shoot 59, we can do it. Heading straight into 10 right now, par three. Down the hill, 139 yards, but playing downhill roughly 10 yards. I'm gonna go with a smooth little gap wedge here. And I think Matt's doing the same. Struck well, kind of middle of the green. Front, just towed it just a little bit. All right, we've got a putt. Oh, Zach with an absolute beauty. Oh, go in. Oh, oh spun the wrong way. I thought you were making one for the channel. Still happy with that, though. There's where I landed. Spun back about seven or eight feet to right here. Still a good look. About 15 feet. See if we can't roll the rock. Subtle break. That did not go this way like I thought it would. Pretty straight. Yeah. Oh, burning edges. Tap it in for our three, homie. All right, hard to start here on the back. So our goal is to shoot 59. Me and Matt in a scramble for 18 holes have never shot 59. That's what we're trying to do. We are five under through 10. We've got to really start making some putts if we want to do that here today. We're on number 11, par four, 359. On the right center. I was about to say, if you're gonna say right side, no. I'll come back behind that camera. Easy. <laughs> that was very defensive right there. I said right center. Wow. Another good ball. Hang on though. Bleeding. That should be all right. Thanks. Going with mats here. Up the hill, 60 yards. Here's the ball mark. Not much trundle <laughs> right there. Down. All right, we got a putt. Oh, go in. <laughs> Do not get distracted at the view behind you. Matt's gonna tap it in with the old wedge. All right, love to see it. We're back on track with the birds. Let's go. That has to be one of the more scenic pin slammers right there behind you. I'm glad I did it like a Thor style. That was that was a poor fist pound. We gotta do that again. There, there we go. go. Number 12, par four, 428. And this hole is a little bit tighter than we've been playing thus far here at Owl's Nest. Zach seems to think this shot's a little tighter. I still think we need to send driver. Oh, maybe not. Distance to hazard. Well, timeout. <laughs> As I was casually saying, we should still hit driver. It says 250 to the hazard. I don't even know where this hazard is. 250 to hazard, yes it does. Oh, oh easy, easy. All right, I got you, partner. All right. It's not bending enough. Is it bending enough? I don't know. Good kick. I tried to play it down the right side and hit a draw, and it just stayed straight. Yeah, it's got so a good kick at the end. It did kick pretty hard left, so it should be fine. So I'm right rough here. Didn't quite trundle left as much as I would have hoped. 175. Into the breeze, out of the rough. I'm gonna go smooth eight iron here. Hold that line. Oh, I came off the hill way more left than I thought. I right. think that was the number. It was the number. That side slope sends it left way more than I thought it would. We 
We're dancing. Feed. There's where I landed. Hop forward. Got about 35 feet here putting across the green. Break, 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 break. Trundle! That was in the heart. Okay. Uh oh, that could be good. That could be good. That could be. Oh, left in the heart. Dude, we broke the rules, Zach. The last like three feet there, though, that just puts on the brakes. Yep. 521, and uh, <laughs> that's a lot of red stakes. There are a lot of red stakes up there. But it, it goes hard left, and uh, we'll just send it. We're going to be aiming kind of there ish with a little draw. Well, let's hit well draw. Should be just fine. Should be perfect. Finally starting to float. I mean, can you write a better book? Hopefully not. <laughs> right here, we will take that. Don't really see anything, but the pin is right of that 150 stake by maybe five to seven paces. We've got roughly 175 to 180. Can't really get the pin from here. That's going eight iron. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same. Yeah. Draw. Should be on the putting surface, I feel like. I might be short right. There's definitely some wind up there, so it hit it hard. Yeah. That thing just got chewed up. That's the line. We'll see if it's the yardage. Dude, I think that just got completely eaten up by the wind. That's probably a little short. So we way underestimated how much that played uphill. Looking back at it, we were, we were not smart. No, that was <laughs> way up the hill. And how about that view? Absolutely breathtaking. You love to see it. Go. I was trying to land just a little farther. All right. Down. Well, looks like we're going to make a putt, boss. Ooh. Let him in the door. Oh, good roll. There's five. We got to pick up the pace. Let him in, let him in, let him in. The putters have kind of gone stagnant. We've also not done ourselves any favors on hitting it very close, especially when we're inside 200 on a par five. We remain at six under, five holes remaining. What an incredible view right here. This would be fun to stare at. This would be. Down the hill, par three, 160. Says it's playing downhill, like just over 20 yards. Well, about to find out if pitch winner gets there. Good swing. Come on. Needs to trundle back. Keep coming. Just still, still take it. Yeah. Pretty good good swing. Shot. Oh. That took a big hop to the right. It is tough to hit that shot with such an incredible view <laughs> behind. That is unreal. You can see for, I don't even know how far. Let me know in the comments how far you think you can see there. I'm gonna say those mountains in the background, 85 miles. We're walking up here, not a little long, slightly left, and I'm pin high, way right. Matt's is probably about five, six feet closer. I think we go with yours. We're due. We are due. Let's go. 
with that view behind, he's kissing his putter and making putts. Let's, Let's go. go. That was huge for the team morale. Slamming, jamming, and making birdies. Dude, we needed that for the team morale right there. That was huge. Seven under, four to play. What in the world? I don't know if I've ever played this much of an uphill drivable part four. 282, the green sets off kind of back to the right just a little bit, but I think this is playing probably 30 yards uphill. Oh, minimum. I'm just hoping I get it off the landscape. <laughs> That is hitting some stingers with that driver. It's trundling. Keep trundling. Mile. That dead. <laughs> That's what you call trundler. <laughs> oh, tattooed. That's perfect. We got some options up there. That might be the best 280 drive I've ever hit. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> And the views just don't stop out here. This one might be up there for one of the better views so far. Nice. The last hole and this one. The next hole supposedly is supposed to be pretty sweet too, 16. All right, almost pin high, just right down there. We'll be chipping up here. Green is all running away from us slightly. So I need to be precise with the pace. Not bad. That one did trundle out a bit though. Uh, that's gonna be a little bit farther. Break, break. That was good pace. That's a hard putt. Did it. Did it. That was monstrous right there. Back to back tweeters. Let's go. Boom. This might be the most downhill hole I've ever played in my life. Number 16, par four, 472. That's got to be from the tee box down to the green. I'm going to say 300 feet down, maybe more. It's a solid 100. I mean, we gained <laughs> 200 feet in elevation purely, and this could be making it all back up. This is crazy. Tee it high, let it fly. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's heading right. Oh no. That is not what he was looking for. I got you, partner. All right. Easy. All right, not too bad here. I do believe it hit this tree up here. So we kind of got a good bounce here. 155 playing 137. That that's is a little downwind. Way downhill, downwind. What club are you going with, sir? 50. Ooh, be a good number. Hot forward. It is, it's trying. It's all right, good shot. Oh, that's not a good line. Ooh. Dude, let's go. That is what we needed. That is what we needed. Good job. So we are looking back right there. This is actually a very narrow tee shot. Probably wouldn't hit driver when you come here to play. Matt, fixing the pitch marks. Make sure to take care of the course and my ball right there, about two and a half, three feet. That's going to finish off this pin slammer for us. Love to see it. Back to back pin slammers. Yeah, buddy. Actually, that's three in a row. What am I talking about? Back to back to back. We are back. Slamming pins. Nine under, sir. Let's do it. Love to see it, sir. We're back on track. Yeah, yeah. What does that get us to? Nine. Nine with two to go. And this is a par five. Five. 26. But the cool part is it's like shelved downhill. And it's way downhill right by the green. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, this could be one that even if we get down the slope here, we could have a wedge in with a driver. Oh, 
It's leaking just a little right. It should be all right. Kind of right rough. I was trying to bend it around the corner to get it going, but I overdid it. On the right side, we'll have to see. I'm not really sure how far it bends to the right. All right, I am right rough. Matt was just a little bit farther down the hill. This is what we were talking about. This is way down the hill. We are 189 to this front hole location right there. What an incredible view. I know I've said that quite a bit, but this place is awesome. It's playing downhill roughly 30 yards. Helping breeze, Matt's going with pitching wedge. Yes, pitching wedge. Heading a little left of the green, hop right. Almost made it to the front edge. It tried to trundle. It really is crazy how downhill these shots play. And this is like a semi bowl right here. Ended up landing about pin high, probably about 35, 40 feet here, just off the green. Would love to get an eagle, sir. Matt's doing some counting. I'm not really sure what, he, what he's counting. I was just trying to make sure we were where we were all around. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes math gets hard, but we are nine under, I'm pretty sure. We're five in the front, four in the back, so we yep. are. Travel, travel, that was a really good line. It doesn't go left. Well, the mountain's to the left. That doesn't mean anything. All right, we got Tweeter locked up. Hit well. Ooh, good run, boss. Nice. Go slam a pin for us real quick. That is one, two, three, four in a row. This has been so much fun. I want to thank the Owl's Nest so much for having us out. One final hole. We are 10 under par. Eagle gets us a 12. 377, slight helping breeze. Par four. If we could drive it up there close and chip one in. Shoot 60. That would be me and Matt's lowest scramble score to date. Hit well. Down the right side. Bounce left. That was so good. Wow. That is how you want to end it right there. Not like me, like him, yes. Matt absolutely roasted his as well. That is green side. Yeah, we're just pin high, just a uh, little right. A little right. And, uh, that would be the view. I mean, I think Zach could have drove the green if he was better. Wow. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, it rolled, it rolled up, up the face right here right, on a look. three. Skip, 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 skip. It tried to get out. Dude, if I just had that a little more right. I mean, we're talking about a 10 yard wide gap, but yeah, if you had a little more right, you could have been. I mean, I needed that what? Like, six paces right? Yeah, 10 yards tops. And that was in line with the flag. So we need to get this up and down for bird. Hole out would give us 60, and that would be the new record. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I gave it a run, Zach. You definitely did. That's what you call kind of uh, a chunk. I go a little right? About cup. Cup. Did he do it? I know. I know. Go ahead and butcher me in the comments. 377 off the box, you're in the green side bunker, and you leave it a foot short for the record.
Unfortunately, finished with the par there on the last 10 under, had so much fun. The Owl's Nest is an awesome course here in New Hampshire. Matt, we're gonna have to try for 59 another day. Mm. As for me, Matt, the Owl's Nest, New Hampshire. We'll see you when we see ya. Peace.